get the range, get the... Jason Rosario, Charlo's trainer, Castaño punches more. He tries to outwork you. He's in a very effective counter puncher, and of course, has the great equal up now. You know, you can tell that Charlo's just basically looking for, but he gets, uh, he throws wild punches and he opens well, up. Well, yeah, I don't, I, I wouldn't go so far, but he's pretty responsive there. And I think he's gonna bait him, especially the inside punches. Yes, and no quarter who is still surprisingly defensively responsible as he lands that lead right. And Gonzalo's gonna try to outwork Jermal, but you don't want to outwork it. Charlo's never thrown more than six hundreds ago against Deshaun John. Look for the one punch that will turn things. Yeah, Charlo Boy. He is definitely things after. Yeah, and he's really and here comes Kyle, which is about to say because some has Oh, but Charlo can clip him in the clips. And Charlo now on the punch. And that is why Castan. Efficient attack from Jamal Charlo. A terrific second round, Charlo. To do though. Charlo. As we settle in counter punch of choice, would it be this tough from Charlo? And we'll see. Held an unofficial round robin at this weight tonight. Yeah, this division is. So Don't try to hook as much. Do the same thing. Yeah, it's exactly. It's the double jab is way in without getting the previous fighters, but they, uh, you know, top five good fighters, but Charlo's a to the body. We saw what happened in the eighth against Rosario. Now Castaño distance clips Charlo with the left arm. Oh, oh my. He took advantage of that, of that opportunity. He covered, he tried to counter, he took, but he got caught with the left hand. Oh. Right there, right, right inside. Charlo along the ropes. Just up with that left hook block. He was looking for the opportunity to counter. Charlo leverage on those punches. There's a sweeping left. Right now, guys. Best punch, which is the hook. And he said, Well, yeah, I took it. I'm looking you know, yeah. oh, right on trouble. And he hurt as he gets in. He lands his combinations as well. Final minute of the fourth. They fought each other. Castaño comes back now. There's a left hook to the ball. Winning in this round. And there, Charlo. All, all rounds. Coming into this moment. Castano in the corner, unloads the left to right, there's a good jab, but Castano, of course. Happened when he fought uh, Harrison, definitely set up a trap. Man. Charlo unloads the one, two, oh, but he won that score. And the cuffing left, oh, two through the guard from Charlo. Charlo, that's the difference here uh, for him, that's where right it's Castano used 40% so far of his power punches, I mean... Charlo wanting to bait fifth, pawing at him with the try, Castaño. I am on the guard, waiting for Castaño to make it coming in. Or the up scene yet, uh, and Castaño well, has the pressure a little bit more. Where's the body? That spot there is where Charlo, yeah, that's where Castaño's got to be problems in this round. that right body shot, he gets the attention of Charlo. Counter attack by, unloading on Charlo. Charlo, <laughs> couple pumps the jab. There's a left hook up that miss for Charlo. Good head move jab, and he started. I mean, we know that he's got a powerful rounds probably by the... Daniel throwing more and landings. Again, a theme that we've seen throughout. Gets a fighter hurt in Shankly. That has worked for... Castaño, man to make that three through the guard. Misses with the left hook. Counter shot lands for Charlo. Fans on their feet and sustain two-way action as Charlo goes to the body. Right hand by Castaño. Charles Dunn did a better output. We're used to seeing great jabs. He knows how to be good. We've seen many volume punches. We've got less volume punches against Richard. And now it's volume with 30 seconds left in the sixth before Castaño comes back. About Jamal stops throwing the jab. He gives you the opportunity. Now Derek James about the uh, languishing on the ropes and eating shots like this. Attempting to crown the first of Jamel Charlo. Prince and Styles, which makes it very interesting to see share the grounds. Owen Castano, to buy Castano ahead, 58-56. The jab was able to pierce through there a few times, but Castano now returning fire. He lets his hands go. He's really a jab scores for Charlo, splits the guard. Total punches, you take a look, and it, you know, because it plays per round, some will argue, you know, what's your... It's a very competitive and interesting fight. Couple exit.
retreat, trying to establish the jab on the ropes. Pivots and then goes for Jamel Charlo with less than 20% of his enemy. Yeah, he's on the way in. That's one thing he needs to do more of. Yeah, yeah. by Castaño. Yeah. Left yeah. to the left. For Charlo to throw the jab to counter on top. Just Charlo then to split the left hand like we just Good. saw. Good work on the inside there, Barker. Leads with the ropes. Is Charlo giving him this round, but... Castaño continues to march forward. We head to round number eight. Was able bent the agenda. How many rounds they yeah. they met? And so many of these much different directions. And there, of course, Castaño now up by three points. Castaño used oh, oh see there's the jab. right hand and the left hook. with that left hook and I'll tell you oh nice right but this fight was not going to be a long one and he's hanging in there boy isn't he 12 to determine an outed champion at 150 somehow I want to say it's shocked that he can break through I know, I know he was expecting this habit and it's there in your yeah. face oh. it's a game changer and there's the jab of Castano I think that is such a he only lands a little over two around but Carlos he... landed a nice left hook to the body yeah. but then Castano his low output explosive power and yeah we know of his power in the fight around and what one of the volume punching Charlo with the left hook or the right hand. It's here in the final seconds. A good round for Brian Castaño. Castaño has been very calm to what is the biggest fight of both of Charlo has to be more of a volley puncher in himself. More than just a jab. Punch with the jab. Let your right hand go. He lands 7.8 rounds, punches per round. And that's pretty significant. Castaño just underneath that sweep. Charlo still on his back, unable to. And we still have not yet seen the uppercut from Jamal that he usually sets up, especially. Yeah, I'm surprised that punch has. Oh, yeah. yeah. Overall, it's a big, it's a big, more than an edge. The There's the jab. It's a stiff one, and it popped Castaño's head forward. Charlo on the ropes. Castaño with some blistering combination punches, but. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, he's yeah. making the fight. Yeah. That right hand hurts. The right hand of good people would have thought. Once a right hand. There's a right block by Castaño. Castaño. Hot shotting with the jab is Charlo. Castaño closes the distance. Doesn't score a lot, but still met. You can't discourage, right? Number 10. The opening Castaño coming in with the he's been unable to really implement okay. with his right hand but it happens and you overtrain you didn't train well enough you over let his hands go a little bit more well James told Charlo you know fighting his own town you'll say it would be uh, but he's proven to be alive it's all the pressure for Charlo all's for Castaño right hand clips the jaw Charlo oh, yeah. sitting down and marching forward after him in round two he didn't and it's the right hand that Mo talked about and there's another right hand Castaño does not fight he survived by yes. nature. Today. Under a Clip the jaw, Castaño. Castaño tried to land the hook. He's going to have to do something. That's right. Yeah, you saw yeah. that. He missed. Oh, and the right hand lands for Charlo. Under the fight for Jamal with 10 seconds left in the. Charlo can unload on Castaño. But Castaño, round 11. Normally, Castaño is against his sheriff. He landed. Uh, He's looking like himself. And he's listening to his trainer doubling up with the left hairs. And he lands a right and a left. There it is. Get your get your respect back. That's what you just past the midpoint of the 11. Bounced off Charlo's glove. Charlo now. Castaño on Steve Fogg's unofficial score. Charlo has not been active in this round. Only that many more from Castaño, but this back to what we got. And uh, keep Castaño away from him. Just a little. Yes. Oh, hand by Castaño. Charlo firing back. But back comes Castaño. Chip Pedigree. Champion. Highly contested. It's going to be a really interesting round for both. Castaño 
Charlo overwhelm him. But Charlo look for the overall right can, spot. Is that enough to yes, win the fight? Yeah. yeah. To who takes the twelve? Oh, goes the guys, so much to stake in this round for I think for Charlo. In this round, though, I'm planning to jab and some things about Stanio trying to close oh my He's not just in a minute. Tonight's main event. And on Castaño. Castaño. And, and done the better work. But here comes Castaño with holds the gap in this round. Oh, nice body. Mel Charlo, the next previous as we come down the stretch. We remember the Alamo. July 17, 21 in San Antonio. Give the championship. 114 even a draw. The decision is a split.